Hi everyone, I've just bought this LG 49 inch monitor and I wanted to share some of my thoughts with you as I did a lot of research when looking to purchase this monitor and I couldn't always find the answers to the questions that I had about how it might fit with my particular workflow and the requirements that I had. In particular, I was after a monitor with a very large desktop space as I was replacing a three screen setup. Another important thing that I was looking for was having a single monitor so I could achieve a more minimal desktop as I was sick to death of having a cluttered workspace. I'm sure you've seen a lot of other technical reviews about this monitor so I wanted to talk about how it works for me in the real world and the issues that I've had and how I've overcome them. But first I wanted to talk about my existing setup and the things I really hated about it and why this monitor is the perfect replacement for where I was. I've never been happy with my existing setup. With these two LG 22 inch monitors at the side and this single 24 inch Samsung monitor as my primary display in the middle, which are supported by one homemade riser and accompanied by this horrible one from Amazon. Moving to the LG means I can finally reduce the amount of cables I have under my desk as I'll only need one power socket and one display port cable going to my PC. In terms of pixel size, my existing screen setup gives me a total of 5760 by 1080. Compare that to the LG at 5120 by 1440, I'm losing 640 on the width. However, I'm gaining 360 on the height, which I don't mind as the three screens are a little bit too wide for me. And I no longer have to deal with those annoying bezels between the screens. The time had finally come to strip down my old desk setup, unpack the LG 49 inch and see how minimal it was going to make my desk look. All I needed to do was put the two parts of the stand together with three screws and carefully hang the huge monitor in place. I'm really pleased with how this monitor looks on my desktop. It's super minimal. The screen's got a 1800 radius giving it a nice gentle curve and the brushed metal base is finished in rose gold which is the LG 49 WL 95C WE version. The stand has height, tilt and swivel adjustments built in. And whilst I was concerned there wasn't going to be enough height, at 21 inches it is comparable with my old setup. However I am still considering using a bracket to mount it to the wall to completely free up my desk. When I was doing my research, I did consider the Samsung 49 inch RG90 as it was fairly comparable in specification. However, I felt the LG had the edge as it offered more features that I felt were desirable. The LG was roughly hundred pounds more expensive. And in hindsight, if I wanted to save some money, I probably should have gone with the Samsung. Here's why. The LG comes with a built-in light sensor to control the screen brightness. I thought this would be useful for the changing lighting conditions. However, the sensor is positioned right where you'd want to put your webcam, which makes the auto screen dimming redundant. Sure, you could move the webcam to the side, but I'm just a sucker for symmetry and turned off the auto brightness, leaving it to around 70%. I read on the LG website that this monitor has a rich bass sound that comes from the two stereo 10 watt built in speakers. Once again, I felt that this would be a great feature to help me clear the clutter from my desktop. Sadly, upon testing them out, I found the sound way too flat and they definitely didn't offer me the rich bass sound I was hoping to achieve. So I have decided to keep my existing speakers as I feel the need for a quality audio experience, particularly for editing videos. One of the other main features that made me buy this monitor was the LG on-screen control, which allows you to divide your screen workspace into preset zones to allow you to be more productive when using multiple applications. Unfortunately, once again, I feel a little bit let down by LG's offering, as it doesn't give you as much customization as you may need. I personally like to work with a main application workspace in the middle and smaller windows to the sides for things like explorer windows and emails etc. 
and the nearest I could get to this with the LG software was an even three-way split which made the middle main work area way too narrow. All was not lost though as I came across some free software called Power Toys. Within this software there's a feature called Fancy Zones which lets you divide up your screen real estate exactly as you want it. You can create multiple layouts and easily switch between them depending on what your current workflow is. I really feel this is an absolute must for a screen this size because it makes it so easy to dock the various windows and applications and switch between your custom layouts. So let me show you the LG on-screen control. It gives us a couple of options here. One's full screen, so if you're using a Premiere Pro timeline it's really useful to have the whole screen filled up with your timeline like this and have all your palettes there. But my most common workflow would be something like a three screen, which applies it like this, and then if we click and drag, it will snap to those zones. But as you can see, it gives you three equal zones. And sometimes if your main workspace is in the middle, you might want it to be a little bit wider than that. So this is where the Power Toys software is a much better application for splitting up your screens. You need to set the on-screen control to full screen first. Download and install the Power Toys software. So launch the editor. Create a new layout. And then we can drag out our zones as we require. And it also tells you the exact pixel dimensions of each zone. And then with the hold shift we can add in a horizontal bar to divide up these ones further. And then we can save that as a new custom layout. So I've got this custom layout I've already preset which allows me to drag when I hold shift to each of these preset zones. So there we can see a main workspace in the middle and then other windows around to the sides. So there you have it. If you're thinking about buying this LG 49 inch monitor, it might be worth considering whether the built-in light sensor to control the screen brightness or the built-in speakers and the on-screen control are features really worth paying the extra for. If they're not, I would suggest perhaps going for the Samsung. However, I feel like I'm going to keep hold of this one because I like the way it looks and combined with the Fancy Zone software, I know that I can achieve the setup that I, I really need. So if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.